the techniques in Nietzsche's Hegel can be used uh, preemptively or defensively. And we'll look at both of those uh, possibilities here. So the first technique of the kata, the first movement, the hands come out and you pull backwards here. So <coughs> this can be used in a preemptive fashion. So uh, it, the opponent square to me, I'm convinced he's going he's gonna to hit me. So I preemptively strike by dragging the hands outwards. So again, this is the first movement of the kata. So here, I throw the hands outwards. And also it could be defensively if he throws in, boom, as a kind of flinch response. Again, I'm trying to attack the head to, uh, to disrupt the opponent. So if he throws here, boom, straight away. Okay. So regardless of whether I go first or I wait and go second, uh, the next part is the same. So if he throws, boom, and I strike here, I'm immediately securing the double collar tie and then driving the knees in here. And we find this later on in the kata in this motion. So again, blast in, throw the knees in here. Okay. Now what we're going to do is to employ this movement, we're going to take the hand, the right hand in this case, just drop it underneath to, to the, the throat. Okay. Now what we're actually doing here is an inverted C grip. The C grip being gripping around the, uh, the throat here and squeezing in behind it to close it off. Um, so the inverted C grip would be the same thing, just upside down. Okay, which doesn't make sense this way, but when the head is done here, it makes a lot more sense. Okay? So again, uh, he throws in, I strike first, immediately throwing the knees, and that might be enough in itself to finish the fight. I swap round to here. If this hasn't worked, I swap round, grab the throat. For training to be to be safe, we'll just cut the jaw, just take the mandible itself. We pull down backwards, <laughs> take it to the ground here. I can finish with whatever technique immediately move away. <coughs> so, once again, he's in his way, it hasn't worked, go for the throat, kick him down, finish here. <coughs> now, an important point to note is that we're not pulling the head straight backwards, although the kata shows a kind of smooth action backwards, but what really makes this technique effective is the randomness of the, of the movement. So, if I take uh, Stu's head and I slowly apply pressure and he resists it, we can get quite a lot of resistance and he can resist it quite effectively. But if you do exactly the same thing, but applying this uh, sort of randomization, it's, it's a lot more difficult to, to resist against. So, again, more time, more thing. Knees in straight away. So, and finish. <coughs> and again, the, uh, as well as this uh, defensive action, I can also use the, the crash helmet action here. Again, we find it in this part of the car. So the leg raise is actually an extra level of insurance. So uh, if he throws a punch, that's fine. I can drive in. If I'm lucky, I might catch with the knee straight away. If you throw the kick first, I bring the knee up. If he throws anything at all, completely random, oh, I can use that same motion. It's a one, one stop action. You know, it's, uh, I don't have to train lots of different variations, it's just one technique that I use uh, to defend against anything, hopefully against everything. Yeah. So, okay, one more time. He throws again. Drive that in. That turns the knees. Dragging the head down. Finish. Move away. And that's the first move. <laughs>